Hello, hello, hi guys, this is Rachel. Thank you for stopping by to check out this video and my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do so before you leave and then hit the notification bell to let you know when I upload another video. And what I'm going to show you today, I'm kind of kicking myself for buying. I kind of got sucked into it um, myself. It wasn't, you know, the company or anything like that. I just got excited and purchased it and then realized I probably shouldn't have paid that much for it. So you live and learn. So what I'm going to show you is an unboxing of an Owl Crate box. I want Owl Crate boxes so bad, but they're like $29.99 plus like seven or eight dollars shipping. So it's 30, like around 36 or $37 a box each month. And I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting to maybe see if there's like they, you know, do promotions every once in a while or a discount. So I'm just waiting on that because $37 a month is just a lot for me. So I went on there and realized that you can purchase past boxes at a discount. So uh, I got all excited because I thought, well, that way I don't have to buy it, you know, uh, renew it or not renew it, but you know, it won't charge you month to month and you're still getting a box when you can. So they do have a bunch of boxes like from last year, um, from 2017. I think the ones in 2017 are like $21, wait, 20, hmm, I can't remember now. I think like $21 or something like that. You know, like $8 cheaper. <laughs> well, the one that I got, I need to have sucker written on, my, written on my forehead, so I hope this is a good box. I found there was one left, or not one left, but the December 2015 box. Yeah, this thing is like three years old, and I bought it. It was on sale for $19.99 plus shipping. You still have to pay shipping for a three-year-old Owl Crate box. Let that sink in. You heard me. I paid $27 for this box. I hope this is a really good box for it being three years old. I just, I wish it was cheaper, I guess, you know, for being three years. I mean, come on people, you know, it needs to be cheaper than that. But you have suckers like me that will buy it thinking that they got a big sale on it. So there you go. This is the box that I got. And like I said, I love to read and I've always, been look at you know I always look at book subscriptions and things like that and I go on what is it my subscription addiction.com and they always have like reviews of all these book subscriptions and and I've always wanted owl crate always I just cannot spend $37 a month I don't know in it it might be worth it the value might be three times more than that $37 a month is just a lot I don't, that's just how it goes. So this is what the, what the box looks like. I don't know if they still look like it now, but I don't know. I guess this would be the most recent box. So I opened it, but I didn't look. So, but what they do is you can go on their website and you can actually look at past boxes and look and it will list like every single item that is in there. And so that's nice if you are looking at past boxes and you just want to see what they have and then decide then if you want to purchase them or not. So that's pretty good. Let's get back to the box. So, okay. So opening the box, you have like this little thingy right here that, you know, that's pretty nice to always have something on the cardboard. It says snap, photograph, and film your unboxing experience. Share, show off your treats to the Owl Crate community. See, I, I will create and then snuggle up get cozy and enjoy your new book so this is what it looks like on the oops, oops, on the inside and I'm not ranting but I wish they would stop sending the squigglies I would think that the boxes would be cheaper maybe not I don't know if they didn't use those because people just throw it away I don't know. I, I, to me, I would think there would be a better packaging system or something, you know, 
So anyways, that's just me. So on the front, this is what it looks like on the card. And then, like I said, 2015. And it says get inspired and then it has like spoiler alerts so you can, I guess you can read this because um, it tells you about some of the items that are in it and so I haven't read it yet so we're gonna be oops, surprised I guess so um, the first thing that I see after like once you take off the card you just see like this little <laughs> this little thing right here well it's a little candle and it's called Book Lover's Soy Candle from Frost Bed, Fr Frost Bed, Frost Beard Studio in, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it's called Reading at the Cafe. It is a cute little candle. And that's what it looks like. And it smells really good. It smells like a latte or a cappuccino, some sort of coffee smell. So that smells really good. Um, going through these little squigglies, everything else is on the bottom of the squigglies. So let me pull out the first thing that's on in here. And this is, it says, it says what I read. And then it's, um, let me see, the what I read journal is idea for jotting down thoughts and keeping track of all the books you've read and can't wait to start. So that's pretty cute. Oh, well, I was going to show you kind of like... Oh, but they're all different. So these are what most of the pages look like, where you just write down the title, the author, and what you thought of it. But then every once in a while, it has like quotes, um, some questions. So that's pretty cool. And it's got like this little rubber, or this little um, rubber band to keep it closed. So I like that, and it's small enough to put in your bag. So that's cute. Um, the next thing is, it's from, I think, I'm not sure if this is a magnet or just cards, or both. Anyway, there is one magnet. This magnet, it looks like, I'm not sure, I don't know if that's a little boy or a little girl holding a wolf or fox. Well, maybe once I read the book I'll understand, because I, I think most of these items are supposed to be around a theme. So, um, let me see, there is a card that goes with it, and it says, The Art of Sandra Vargas, illustration, art, prints, postcards, t-shirts, and accessories. So you can go on there and check them out. Uh, the next thing is, Book Lovers, oh, this is from, this is about the candle. And then, I think that's more about the candle and the company that makes them. Okay, and then there is a to-do list and that's what it looks like it's in a package or it's um, in plastic so I'm not sure if I'm going to open this or not or I might be gifting it to somebody so that's cute and then last but not least is this book it's called Da Vinci's Tiger from L.M. Elliot and there is that, and it's in plastic, and I kind of like that because of all the squigglies. Um, there is something in here though, I think it's like a magnet kind of thing where you can break apart the words and make, make up different sayings. And it goes with the book apparently. See the picture looks exactly like the front cover. So that is nice, I can't wait to read it. And let me see, that's all it says, so. That is it. There's nothing else in this box except for the book, this to-do list, a candle, and a little journal. So, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know what this, I mean, like I said, this is three years ago. So, I am hoping that it is way better than it was three years ago. I feel like I'm still a sucker for paying $27 for it, but if you look at the back of the book, this thing is like $18, so it might be worth it. I don't know, maybe if I read the book and it might get better. So other than that, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, hit the notification bell to let you know when I upload another video, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and I paid for this, this is not sponsored. Bye guys.